Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we're going to take a look at some of my biggest burning questions I have about the Rainbow High show and just some things that don't make sense. So let's get into it. Overall, I believe I have like eight points, like eight things I want to mention and talk about. And I might even have like a little bonus point at the very end. So stay tuned. But our first point here is all about the grayscale characters. So I feel like this is a pretty obvious one for anyone who's seen the most recent season of Rainbow High, you know, season three. They've introduced a whole bunch of casts of characters that have been grayscale in Shadow High, specifically series one, uh, later series like with the costume ball, Storm Twins, Neon Shadow, all of those characters are no longer grayscale. Uh, not only does that make me wonder what is happening are we just no longer gonna get grayscale shadow high characters that's really something a lot of people want to see stay with the whole shadow high theme but it looks like they're gonna get out of that a little bit more and give the shadow high characters more of a muted i guess color scheme uh, not even necessarily because neon shadow is very much neon based but um more i guess more like in a grungy style emphasis so i don't know what's happening there but my my point here here is not really even about the color scheme it's more about like how does it work in the context of the show how does how do these grayscale characters work um and we we know we know it's not lighting we know it's not lighting you guys it's not the lighting it's it's not some kind of like magic entrance that you go through shadow high the halls and then they turn you grayscale no because we saw in uh season three uh uh Rainbow High students, Violet uh, Pacific Coast High, they went to Shadow High, the school itself, and they looked completely normal. And when you put um, some of the characters next to some of the grayscale Shadow High characters, it is pretty much obvious that it is, that's just how they look like. That is just how they look like, the period, you know? So that really brings up a lot of questions. Like, how does this even work? How does it work? How is, how's it working? I don't know how's it working. How's it working? We don't know. <laughs> and no one, no one is explaining it. No, they have not explained how it works. Not even, they haven't even tried once to like even just talk about it. They haven't even pointed it out in a show. Nothing. It's like it doesn't even exist. Um, so I, uh, this is like this. This completely befuddles me. I am befuddled. I, I, I am flabbergasted every time I, I start thinking about it. I get like seriously like like I need an I need answers because like how is this happening? Um, and one of these points I'll uh, I'll go into depth later. But like, could it be magic? Could it be magic? Is this is this world of Rainbow High that Rainbow High is based in? Is it magic? Is it maybe a little bit of like how how else could it work? Like serious? Like let's be like I don't know how else it could work. It has to be magic. It, it can't be some kind of skin condition because we know obviously it's not a skin. Is it's it's a Rainbow High is all about colorful students and then Shadow High is all about the opposite right so it's not it's not like a medical thing it's not like a you know it, it's like literally aesthetically just how it is and like i know maybe we shouldn't question it because it's just how it is but at the same time why not question it it's right there in front of our faces and we are not questioning it and i have questions and i am questioning it <laughs> <laughs> so here we are um i don't know what's happening i am still every time i think about it again i just i don't have any answers i'm so sorry but um yeah that is that is like really like one of my biggest burning questions that have that has come up in series season three specifically so i really hope that they give us at least like some kind of explanation at the end because if they don't and they just make it look like it's not even there it's not even happening it's not even a thing i'm gonna be very mad next up this is kind of like uh, kind of like in the same vein of the last topic which is the Madison twins since we don't have an explanation of how the grayscale works in this world of Rainbow High we also don't know how it is possible that you know Luna and Sunny 
are so drastically different. You know, rainbow high and then shadow high. We have no explanation. So we, they, they are twins. They are literally twins. They look the same, exactly the same hairstyle, everything. The only difference is, is obviously their whole color schemes. Um, and how is that possible? So this implies that they were born this way. And also implies that, you know, the characters in this world are born with their dyed hair. They're not born with like natural looking hair and they dye it later on. This implies that these characters are like this out of you know from the womb <laughs> so it's all natural so there's some kind of level of magic happening maybe not magic but like like maybe sci-fi <laughs> I don't even know <laughs> supernatural um no but it does it, it it makes it clear that they are this way from the very beginning from the very start they're born this way as lady gaga would say <laughs> um now it just it just raises questions like how is it possible that you know the madison twins uh mom how did their mom get get a set of twins and then for one twin to be like grayscale and then the second one to be like not grayscale you know luna and sunny uh and then is it already like are, since they are born that way i guess with the grayscale or without the grayscale skin uh or theme um does that imp does that also imply that the students from sh that go to shadow high are already predisposed and kind of already chosen in a way from the very beginning to go to shadow high because they look the way they do is that kind of like a thing is it like a thing that's already like oh look luna is born grayscale so now she's gonna go to shadow high because it wasn't always like that remember like wasn't she supposed to go to rainbow high first and then she rebelled and she went to shadow high or something because she she wanted to impress her parents or like rebel rebel like you know like or go against her parents. i don't even know what's happening like so um so is it kind of like a like a pre disposition disposition that you know characters who are who are born grayscale are already chosen to go to shadow high i don't know it kind of seems like that because if it's all meant to be if it's all like if they're all like that from the get-go then it's kind of like oh it's kind of like already you know chosen for them in a in a weird way so that raises a lot of questions uh and i really want to know how it is possible that you know a set of twins can be so drastically different and we know that that's possible without them being a different color scheme you know we've seen it with the devious twins with the with the storm twins but with the madison twins literally like she's grayscale and she's not so it's like it raises a lot of questions and then also what kind of history do they have what happened that they are kind of like fighting now i really want to know the whole history there and i really hope they let us know in the you know in the season finale or something because we need it we need some we need some explanation I just realized here maybe the explanation why as to why one twin is grayscale and the other one is not is maybe the father is grayscale and the mom is not grayscale and so together they got a set of twins that you know one is grayscale and one is not grace maybe it one set of the parents is grayscale and the other one is not maybe that's how it works in this world i don't know we've also never seen any of the parents what is happening here <laughs> my next topic is all about the mysterious hallway that was under construction and revealed the ominous looking uh you know cro like with all that with the like tape the yellow tape it was like blocked off classroom 313 what is up with that spooky ass looking hallway the the lights were flickering the dimming it was spooky to say the very least and it happened at the most random time it happened at the very beginning of season two uh where bella just you know woke up in a new, in her new dorm um room with uh stella crystal and and cheryl and then she went to, to walk around the hallway and then she found this random ass looking spooky <laughs> spooky hallway with you know classroom 313 why does it look that way why are there like construction tape all around it why is it closed off why is the light not working obviously it's kind of like maybe hinting at it being spooky like not sp like haunted perhaps <gasps> maybe question mark i don't know but this is something that they never brought up again and it was in season two season two this happened in se last season never brought up 
ever again. So I do wonder what is happening here in that hallway. Next topic is why we haven't seen much of the faculty or even like I mentioned before, the family members. I know this isn't like this isn't like a new thing with animated TV shows that are based on doll brands, like with Monster High. You know, Ever After High had did have actually like more emphasis on like the faculty and like the family members. Monster High had more emphasis on like the faculty, like at the school, but we didn't really see we never really got to see their parents except for Cleo, Cleo's dad. We never really got to see their parents like in the movies or like, you know, they, they weren't the emphasis in the web series at the very least. With Rainbow High, that, kind of like the same thing. We get to see Miss Wright, she's the headmistress. We get to see like, I guess the lead teacher, uh, Miss Morton. But then we don't really get to see any other faculty members at working at the school. We don't even get to see like anyone else working at the cafeteria. We don't get to see anyone else working any classrooms or whenever we see people in the classroom it's only the students it's never with a teacher and i do find that weird also we've never seen any family members i know that's like a lesser big deal because like okay fine it's the high school we're not going to see the family members you know obviously right duh but still i, I feel like even some pictures we should have seen some pictures by now of what the family looks like for some of these characters, especially for the main core six characters that have been here from season one. So that does back to differ. That does back to question like what is happening? Like why? I keep saying what is happening. because, <laughs> But like why haven't we seen more adult characters? And I know we've seen Paris Hilton, you know, headmistress of Pacific Coast High. We've seen... um from one of barns but they don't count they're like judges that's all they do we don't i mean like real adults like family members or like faculty teachers like we haven't seen any and at shadow high we haven't seen a one teacher or head like who is the headmistress or headmaster at, at shadow high we don't know we don't know we haven't seen any teachers <laughs> at shadow high the closest thing we've seen to a teacher is are the storm twins who are always seen bossing other students around because they're like you know um in a higher grade so it's just it's insanity my next question is more tame it's basically like like i mentioned before again like i a lot of these topics are kind of like they go in hand together they go in they go hand in hand together to kind of like the same thing at the end of the day so this topic is all about like whether this reality uh, of rainbow high is based in like fantasy or is it based in more like a grounded situation like is it like our world or is it more like fantasy inspired so i don't i'm not sure we haven't seen any trace of magic so far except for maybe the grayscale that could be like a little hint but except for that i don't think we've seen much much kind of like inspired magic themes i don't think there is magic in this world but i do feel like there is some kind of like different different kind of way of living i mean if the rainbow high characters rainbow themed characters didn't tip you off do you know uh it is a little bit different obviously but um i do think they also have improved technology with some of the projects that the students have been working on so i, I feel like they might be set in a like a little bit of a distant future perhaps and that is exciting um but i oh overall i think they are based in reality it's just the whole grayscale thing makes me think like okay it could be something different. It could be something other. We know that Rainbow High is taking place in the USA, but where specifically is Rainbow High located, like the actual school? Because in the winter episodes, we can clearly see that it does snow where the school is located. There is even a hill where they can go to sledge downhill. There's it snows. There's like there's a, it, it freezes over the little pond ice skating area. So obviously, it gets cold enough so that it gets to the those temperatures where you know the the water freezes over there's enough snow you can sledge and stuff and this is all right next to the school apparently so this does beg the question of where exactly is rainbow high even located because we do know where pacific coast high is located it's, it's located in malibu right it's so it's we know where that is located but we don't know where rainbow high or shadow high for the for the same matter of fact where those schools are located next up we have the all too infamous question of where did lily chang go i feel like this as along with the grayscale debacle those two are basically like the main two burning questions that everyone has because lily chang had a doll release she even got her own focus in the 
this content with karma little mini episode so she was she she appeared she was supposed to make an appearance on the actual show we got to know more stuff about her you know she's friends with jet dawson she created her own line to celebrate that year of the tiger so like we knew we we, we we were getting to know her and then she never appeared in the show she never got her grand debut we never even got to see how she would have looked like in the show her cgi model we never we just never saw anything um this is really amazing because every character that we've gotten so far that has gotten a doll release um they have appeared in the show you know every single one of the dolls that we've received have gotten their on, on show counterparts so lily shang lily chang is the only character who has a doll but has never appeared in a show isn't that amazing so that is very interesting that she never made it into the show i wonder really why maybe she was cut out due to rainbow vision being taking such taking up such a lot of time in production so i wonder why the reason is behind that they really ended up scrapping her and left her to bite the dust which is a shame because lily chang seemed like a really nice character and now we are virtually never going to actually get to meet her in the show my last topic here is of pacific coast high getting cancelled the doll brand and also maybe even the show so if you remember correctly we are also still getting a paris hilton doll and she is still coming we've seen even newer leaks of her face up with no makeup on just no eyes no makeup just a face up like the head as uh, like that's all so she is on her way we've also seen her outfit pieces that i've made a video on so she's coming maybe even still this year and she's gonna retail like a hundred bucks or something so you know she is gonna be expensive but she's gonna be maybe potentially the only last uh, pacific coast high branded doll or maybe not even maybe they'll just brand her as a paris hilton doll and that's all um but since she has appeared mainly in the pacific coast themed uh segments of the episodes i feel like they probably will brand her accordingly but uh so the question yeah is it did the show get canceled not even show but like you know the doll line did it get canceled and you know they were going to get more episodes in the web series promoting the, the the reality tv series you know pacific coast tie they were supposed to get more episodes but they never they never appeared they never came out so um maybe that's because they got canceled <laughs> Maybe the whole brand of Pacific Coast just didn't do well enough and they had to can it, unfortunately. Um, I don't know if it's officially like confirmed by MJ themselves, so it might still be up in the air. You know, it might, might I don't know, it might be true, might be false, but it's just something I've heard rumors about. So let's see what happens with all of that. Because I really, do, I do like the reality TV style that they, in the segment, I, re I really want to see more of that because I thought it was really funny. <laughs> so I really hope they come back, at least in the show, you know, maybe there's no more dolls, but like... At least in the show, I really hope we get to see more of them, specifically uh, only as a show and not just the characters in Rainbow Vision, which is not the same thing. Now, we are technically at the end of my eight topics, but if you're still here, you stuck around to the very end, hey, I salute you. Thank you so much. And as promised at the beginning, here is my little bonus a tidbit of a question, which is what are the Storm Twins planning? What is this master plan of theirs? Because remember, at the beginning of season three, we had gone to see that they had this huge plan to overthrow Rainbow High and get Ra Shadow High at the top because apparently, you know, Rainbow High is playing dirty or whatever. And they had these different phases, you know, but then Rainbow Vision took the spotlight and now even the Storm Twins are no longer really in the narrative of the latest episodes so the the whole this whole thing of like the grand plan and you know overthrowing rainbow high that has that is all kind of like gone away i don't know if the writers just completely forgot about that whole plot point <laughs> maybe it's just they, they completely left it off and it's not going to continue on but let us also remember that season three is still going on so maybe in the later episodes that will come into play once again i just i do really would i really hope that they do remember that that's still a thing that happens in their earlier episodes and the same goes with you know luna and sunny rekindling or like even just getting a scene together because that that has not happened if you cannot believe it that hasn't happened in any of the episodes so far in season three we haven't gotten a scene of them together 
at all. So I really hope that gets fixed and Rainbow Vision, and Rainbow Vision's um, grand finale is not a big dumpster fire. But yeah, that was the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to give me a big thumbs up if you did. Leave me any thoughts or questions you may have down below. Let me know you thought of these topics of mine. And also maybe you remembered some stuff that I forgot. Let me know down below and maybe I'll make a part two out of your suggestions. But uh, yeah, anyways, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when I post more Rainbow High doll and news, doll reviews, episode reaction videos we're supposed to get the latest episode this friday and i swear to god uh, you can't see my fingers but i'm i'm gesturing how close i am to like losing my shit if they if they postpone oh my I, sweet heavens help me so god if they postpone it one more time this friday i'm done with rainbow high i'm not gonna cover season three anymore i don't care how good it gets i don't care how many views i would get i don't care i'm done because that's just morally wrong at this point that they are abusing literally our patience and and kindness and generosity of waiting this long so i am done <laughs> So, I'm not kidding. So, tune in this Friday to see what happens with this new episode, if it'll come out, and to see if it does come out, to see my reaction here on my channel. And a bunch more content coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the dolty you love. Stay safe, be kind. I hope this next time. Stay PG. Kisses.